Hey guys, it's Cheeky Cat Lover 98, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make this little unicorn from Despicable Me out of polymer clay. And, um, so, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a chunk of clay and turn it into, like, um, an egg shape. Um, so, since I'm gonna make this one look like pretty much like the one that's in Despicable Me, it's a white. Um, unicorn with pink, but you could actually make it any color that you want, it doesn't matter. Um, so, okay, you're gonna need two little triangles, little white triangle triangles or whatever, with some pink on it. You're gonna need two of those for the ears, and the ears are kind of difficult to put on there, to, I don't know, um, so I'm gonna use the dotting tool. Okay, so now that the ears are both on, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to make a little bit like kind of like an eye socket for the eyes because otherwise they're going to end up getting all squished and they're not going to be as round as they are supposed to be. So you need a little bit of room for them to sit like that. One got a little bit squished but they're still pretty round. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get two little white balls. Now let me find those because I actually just ah, uh, there they are. Oh, and also, don't put the pink I forgot to tell you guys this put the pink on after because if not, the pink is going to end up getting smudged and mixed into the white and it's not going to look good. It looks better on this side than it does on this side. But, um, yeah, you get your little eyes and if the eye socket isn't like good enough, then just make it bigger. So after that, you're gonna get you're know, like you can put the horn on now, but I don't know. I I think I'd rather do some other stuff. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the body. So you're gonna need a. This is actually something I didn't do before the video. Um, you're gonna get a white ball of clay, or whatever color, depending on what color you're making your unicorn. Okay, you're gonna make it into kind of like an oval, like just. That like a big jelly bean. And um since the unicorn actually has a neck, you need to kinda shape a neck. Just pinch it until you have this little neck right here. And you're gonna need to actually pinch it down to like till it's flat like that and um get a dotting tool. And just kind of make some excess clay to like put to grab onto the head with. This is just something I do to make it so it's easier to blend this in and stuff. You could get a um, a head pan or whatever, and you could stick it in so it would hold the head better. But this this is pretty simple and so you just stick the head right there and you blend it in and uh yeah now is you're gonna get some little like you're gonna get some clay and you're gonna roll it out into like a worm and um then you're gonna cut it kinda like slanted like that like kinda like a lipstick type thing and it needs to be really short um so I've noticed that the arms on the unicorn are not that uh, long. They're no longer than the stomach. So what you're going to do is you're going to get four of those. You're going to stick them just right on the unicorn. So what you're going to do after putting the feet on is um, adjust the neck. Um, you probably should do that before the feet like right after blending it in so that it doesn't rip when you push it down um so yeah after putting the feet on or the arms and legs you get you roll out some pink clay and then you cut little tiny I guess about half inch it has to be about as long as the leg or arm um so 
you just stick them right on. And so what we're gonna do like is get a horn. So what you're gonna do to make the horn is you're gonna get roll out, like you're gonna roll out to thin like somewhat thin. Um worm, snake, whatever you wanna call it. And you're gonna put them together, make them thinner at one end and fatter on the other, and then you're going to twist them together like this. And roll them a little bit. And then shade them the color that you want. I decided to make mine rainbow because I like rainbows and they're cool. So, yeah, I already have the horn right here made. So I'm going to just stick this on. Okay, after that, you're going to put a long thin strip of pink clay around its middle. And um, cut a smile. You can color this pink if you'd like with like some paint afterwards or whatever, or you can leave it as it is. And then stick a little tongue right in the mouth. Next, and then the ear fell off. I'll fix that later. You poke a hole right there. I I know. That's smart. Anyways, so um, you're gonna get eight strands of hair, and you're gonna put them together. Mister Unicorn now has a tail. And I curled the hair because I like it when it's curled. And so what you can do is you can turn it to the side so it looks better. I mean, to me it looks better, but it looks fine anyway. Now it's time for the mane. Now you're going to need about 11 strands of hair or more. Depends on you know, how many you want. But this is how many I put on my other one, so I'm going to do 11 more strands. So you start from bottom, then get to the top. And um, I'm going to do what I did with this hair, but the, with the hair that I did last time. I'm going to curl it. I like it when it has curls. It looks really pretty. So I'm going to get back to you guys when this is done. Okay, after that you're basically done. Um, all, you, all you have to do now is bake it. Uh, then you can paint the nostrils on. And um, if you'd like, you can glaze it. So, uh, also, with the horn, you can make it any color you'd like. I just made it rainbow because, like I said, I like rainbows. So, yeah. That's it. And I, uh, hope this tutorial helped in some way. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. It's very appreciated. So, yeah. Bye, guys.